bonus tracks we went through and all the, the stuff from the tour that you'd done. Right. We've well, the normal thing to do is, and, and, and we were talking about it at the time, the normal thing to do is just take the audio tracks of that same live DVD performance and stick them on a separate audio CD. So the fans get a package of DVD and audio CD, but to me... Which would have made my life easy. I know, it yeah. would have, but I, I felt like, man, it's the same exact performance. So if you put the audio CD on, mm. it's in essence nothing like listening to the DVD without watching the picture. And I think, um, and I said this to you when we were doing it, that really when you're, you're mixing something like a festival DVD, you're mixing it to the picture. Right. Um, you've, got, you've got to kind of create the same space. It's hard to explain, but it, when you, you're doing the actual, the, the mix on it, it's always good to watch the footage because you get an right. idea of the space you're trying to create. Yeah. Um, and it always and you sounds actually, different. You mix it different. Yeah. You, you, it's funny. It sounds yeah. different when you see the picture. It does, and you actually do mix it different. So right. when when you step away with the mix and you listen to it without the picture, you you, you sort of pick it apart a little bit more. So right. Um, it makes a big difference. So I think there is actually a, a slightly different approach to mixing a, a live. Yeah. performance when you haven't got the picture to it. Um, yeah. you, you, it's not that you're not trying to create the space, but you're, you're probably less aware of it. You, right. you, actually, when you're doing albums as well, it's, it's kind of funny when you see it, when you're just mixing a record, whoever it is, and you, you see where the drums were recorded, and you're like, I would have never imagined the room looked like that. <laughs> you know? So it's, it's kind of strange, and you, you do sort of, it does help build up right. a, a picture when you're mixing something. But. Um, so yeah, tr trying to get the all, all the um, the tracks to not necessarily match tone-wise, but to to get it to feel like it was a, a balanced, yeah, separate package was was tricky. The other thing for me is, oh, you know, when you're doing a live show like a bang your head, you, your first you, your first concern and you're concentrating on doing that show, so you got a certain song selection, you want to, you know, you've got a, a festival crowd that you want to please, so you pick the songs that work best for that show, but then there's all these other songs that we still had, mm. that we thought like, you know, if we only do the audio uh, package of the festival, then they all get left out. So yeah, yeah. That's why we decided to go through all the recordings and do a totally separate package of audio tracks. Try and get some of the tracks in Yeah, there. some of the tracks we don't always play at festivals, mm -hmm. and uh, I hope it was worth it, because we went through, what, uh, how many tracks is it? 28, no, 20... There's a lot. 27 songs. They're totally different from the from the DVD mm -hmm. material. So, yeah. you know, even it's some... Good. Of, I think it's good for, from the fan point of view. You know, you've got a good... Yeah, some of the more package. obscure songs that occurs, and, you know, stuff we don't always play. So. Mm -hmm. It's on there.